luck. Best of luck with that now. <laughs> you all right? OK. Yes. It's all action in the kitchen this morning. Seriously, Shivy could land planes with the amount of machinery There's that's going on. There's some gear in the studio um, kitchen. Last month, Paris hosted the first ever grilled cheese I championship. It was the first one ever. Isn't it great? Where chefs from around the world were judged on their tasties toasties. Uh, three million cheese toasties are consumed in the UK every day. Uh, Shivy's going to do her best to make some of those for us today with the ultimate mask. Class. Everyone will have their own way of yes. doing this, Shivy, won't you? No, you keep saying that, giving me so much pressure. Uh, no, absolutely. I think that's why we've got... Are you doing four different types? More than that. More, more than, than that. that, OK. And out of those three million, I think I probably tried 500,000 okay. to find the ultimate good. method. Good, 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 good. OK, so my go-to, we'll start with my go-to, okay. which is in a frying pan, but it's all about ingredients. You better believe it. <laughs> There's one. What? Are, we, oh, are no. we running that tally? <laughs> yeah, there's one. Um, it's, you know, look, here we go. So my idea is that it has to be stringy, it has to be melty, mm -hmm. it has to give you that cheese pull, and it's got to be tangy. So, so what... Cheesy, stringy, what's... melty and tangy. Oh, delicious. Yes. You sound like some of the dwarfs from Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the combo, then? So I've what's got the cheddar, combo you found? gouda yeah. and gruyere. So that's the perfect <laughs> mixture. And do you know what? It's actually really convenient to get them already grated, mixed in the supermarket. And actually, sometimes, it's a lot cheaper than buying the blocks... So it's so they've done win, all that, win. that stuff. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So firstly, white bread, nothing fancy, white bread, and we're going to be very generous about buttering it. Of course, you need to see teeth marks in there. Both and sides. you're buttering both sides you're as buttering well. Buttering both sides. So some people like to use mayonnaise, mm -hmm. but I'm a butter kind of girl. Okay. Butter with a D. Butter. Yeah. Does that change it at all? What's the difference if you were using mayonnaise or it's a just different the sort flavor. of bread? It's just for you. I mean, butter, 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 butter. Yeah. You can't go wrong, really, right. can you? And seeing as it was held in France, I mean, they're the kings and queens of exactly. butter. Exactly. And do you know what? So we're going to be really heavy-handed with the cheese here. Mixture on both sides. Thank goodness we had that apple cider vinegar <laughs> shot to, <laughs> to, to stem our appetite. And you're throwing it all in all the different... All different yep. styles yep. and makes. Do you know what? Look, this isn't a health food, so you better better go heavy-handed, right? Yeah. It's kind of like a little of what you like every so often won't do you any harm. Exactly. This is quite, this is quite a lot of what you like. This is a lot oh, of what... But do yeah. you know what? Sometimes you deserve... With the bad, you deserve a bit of gouda. <laughs> 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 so look, I'm not sure that one worked quite as no. well. Oh. Not quite as well. That's a bit harsh, Ben. So I've got the cheese with yep. the butter on both sides in the pan and I'm going to pop the lid on. Mm -hmm. And that's just going to start to melt and become gooey. Whilst that melts, yep. should we start the tasting? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, please. Here we go. So we I'm going to give you a little bit of a bread cutting roll. Cat, yes, you know, so heart, yep. Those are the plain standard cheese toasties I'm doing this. here. I'm also going to give you my favourite cheese toasty, which has hot honey in it. So a mixture of honey and sriracha. Hot honey. Oh. Doesn't that good? That's it's amazing. literally honey, sriracha, sriracha, and a tiny smidge of mustard. So that's for you. OK. So yeah. what's this one got on it? This so one this one is you. exactly the same. It depends how much you want to go into it, how ready you want to eat it. OK. I'll go on. Oh, I love it. Cheese ball? What do you mm. think about that? Yeah. Mm. All right, try that one. That's the sriracha one. Uh, just as soon as you taste one bite... Mm. You just want another one straight away. I know. That sort of sensation, that flavour. So hold back, though, because you've got a lot to eat. So this is the air fryer version. Mm. Air fryer version, done the same way, butter on both sides, cheese. It goes into the air fryer, 190 for about 10 minutes, flipping halfway through. Mm. Slightly easier. Give that a taste test. OK. So this is your sriracha one with the hot... This is my go-to. Sorry, this is the go-to. Have you yeah. tried yeah. this one yet? No, not yet. Cat Cracky. can't, it's nacho cheese. Oh! Do you get that? Yes. <laughs> nacho cheese. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I was too busy diving I'm in. sorry, I love I'm a like, pun. I'd love a tomato soup to, di to dip in as we well. We sort that, that out. That, you know what? would be great. The little bit of sweet from the honey, and that sriracha on that is absolutely mm. like, delicious. It's good. they are pickles as well. You know, you can... Pickles, chilli, mm. jam. Um, mm. So this one, sandwich maker. Mm. We all had these back in the 90s. Yeah, oh, remember these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have one of them. Sandwich makers. Yeah, I was sandwich literally one of them. Sandwich wing. <laughs> so they're brilliant. I, you know, I used to put so much in there. They're fantastic. They're really easy. You just smash it down. That's it. There's no complication with that one. The only problem they got so hot in the middle. A cheese Nuclear. Is generally, the heat of the center of the sun, regardless of which method you use it. So just be careful. <laughs> oh, that's, that's hot. This is a non-electric version of the sandwich maker. So you put this straight on the hob. On I thought gas she was just electric. brandishing that at us. <laughs> <laughs> Come you on, do? how many cheese yeah. toasties can you eat? The cheese has done so well. I mean, it's super hot, oh. but it's so great. It is hot. This one is really hot, guys. So, again, with caution. Oh, I forgot about this one in here. So, Kat, can you grab this for me? Mm -hmm. I don't, you haven't even tried the hot. air fryer one yet. 
You haven't oh. tried the air fry I one yet. Can't keep up with that. <laughs> That's the problem. I can't keep up with you. Okay, this there is the air so fry much. Version. Hold on, guys. There's like three more left. Right, the next one's toaster. Three more. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a whole load of chaos, right? That so, air frying bread, the way that's done that bread is much crunchier. So which do you prefer? Well, yours first. It's a good, good the answer, The with the honey in it is amazing. And But the crispiness, cos I like mine, cos you still get that crispiness as well. Mm. But you yeah. prefer the... I mean, Ben's giving me air fryer vibes here. No, no, no. I just make... I think it's important to have at least more than one mouthful of each. Fine, that's a good way to do it. <laughs> so this one has come from the toaster. In a toaster so bag. Let me show you the How toaster bag. How does that bag. work? So it goes like that. Toasty bag, mm -hmm. which means then there's no mess. Literally in and out. You can use these bags up to 60 times, apparently. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. They don't burn. They're not... No, no, I'm, I'm clearly they're... But if the cheese leaks out, how do you...? The cheese won't leak out. And it okay. won't catch on the filament or anything like that? It doesn't this... catch on the filament. Right. It literally goes in, out, done. You can do cheese and ham. You can do pizza toasties in this. So this was the, the cheese toaster. Cheese toasties you go. That, this feels, is... that, all, that doesn't feel as toasty. I mean, that's... There's it's much not more... as crispy. It's definitely not as crispy. Because that was the one that's been in the bag, right? That's the one that's in the bag. Okay. Uh, let me show you this one. This is a different one as well, guys. This one's super hot. Let's grab this quickly. Microwave. I haven't eaten this much cheese in years. Lord, we can't watch that show, Coma, mm. tonight. Mm. We'll be on the edge. Now. Some good dreams, hey? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Now, that's that, the, the, the cheesy pull. The cheese pull is good, hey? That's from the toaster. That's from the toaster. I don't like the bread as much, but mm. that's the best pull. The balance of all the different elements, and I think the fry, fryer does mm. do those crispy edges and that creamy... How are we getting on with the one in the pan? That's oh, one. yeah, that's the one you had, the yeah, first one. Yeah, the beginning one. one. I may I leave really that like one that because that's smoking a bit, so we'll just... Let's not... Show attention on that, please, Ben. OK. This Fine. one... Now, this one is a bit disappointing. Oh. This is a microwave version. Ooh, Ooh. that does look a bit disappointing. It's, it's bit really gooey. Looks but you like it the... needs to go on holiday for a little bit, that Do one, you want to try it? this I know one? how it feels. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> look, so look at it. It's still gooey. I've tried enough but, chivy, to be fair. But the reason why you don't get the lovely crispiness is because it's just steaming in that, so you don't get that dryness. Do you so, know what we need to do? Should we get Levi to come in? Because he's coming up in a come moment. On. Because I think we've missed a trick here, Levi, because we haven't got any with Rego Rego sauce on. Oh, God, I can't believe oh, that. Yes. I was expecting Try that. this one. Yeah. This is Shivy's. This is your special the one with the honey, honey and the sriracha. It's okay, not quite cool. reggae reggae, but yeah. I think if you know, it's a little bit of something. Have a little bite yeah, of that and tell me what you let's think. Let's see if it makes me sing. Makes me sing. Oh. Mmm. Sing, sing! It's so nice, yeah. I had to name it twice. <laughs> love Simple it. Simple as that. Love I, it. I think that, that's the winner for me. How oh, did you, and how did you do the bread? And that, Was that in Exactly the... the same. The only thing we're adding to that is a bit of the honey, squidge of sriracha and a little smidge of mustard. Lovely. And those three give you that little... The little reg reggae reggae. I've certainly got that. It's great, but I feel like I'm at home in the kitchen. This yeah, is nice. this is where we need you. Yeah, this absolutely. is where we need you. I know. You. Uh, Shib, um, thank you. Lovely. Thank yeah. you so, so You've much. Still got thank you to get through here. I, know, I don't know if Go I on. can do it. <laughs> the details of Shivy's <laughs> ultimate cheese toasty, check out our free this morning app. All right, now then, tomorrow we're giving you the chance to make a big decision. Mm. We want you to vote for Britain's favourite retro dessert. Mm -hmm. It's a tough choice, but will you go for the jam roly poly or the Arctic roll? Intrigued by that. It's got an Arctic roll for me. Mm. Jam roly poly or Arctic roll, Levi? Uh, jam roly poly. Jam roly poly. Arctic roll. Arctic, Arctic roll. roll. Okay, maybe that says where we're from. Tomorrow, Phil Vickery is going to be making whichever one you pick as the winner. So you can cast your vote. Just head over to this morning app, or you can scan the QR code and get voting. And then he'll make it live in the studio tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Get voting. Your favourite retro pod <laughs> needs you. Uh, still to come, Dr.